Hi everybody, this is the Waterworks, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this really cute pom-pom scarf. And so please like, comment, and subscribe to my cousin and I's video thing. And so we'll just get on to this. So what you're going to need is a spooled knitting loom to make this pom-pom scarf. I'm using an 8 peg one. You can use any one. A hook, a needle. Scissors. Get some good scissors. These were not good. Pom pom makers. I did not use these in the end, but like if you want to use them, I'm gonna show you the total disaster that I had. But if you are good with these pom pom makers, then go ahead and try it. I'm gonna teach you how to do it without pom pom makers too. And of course, some yarn. I'm using these super cool neon colored yarns and as you can see they're like floating back up into the air. Okay, what we're gonna do is take your yarn and you're gonna put it through, there's like a hole in the middle if you have one of those, you're gonna put it through and like cause there's no anchor peg and you're just gonna wrap it around like you if you were doing it on a circular loom, like a beanie. So just keep doing that, you're gonna do that for a long time. Trust me, like a long time. Just like a hat, if you want more detailed instructions, I will post a video on that. So, it's really cute in the end. It was a little complicated, but then I got the hang of it by putting on the pom-poms. You'll see that part. It's, it's a little complicated. So I'm using the hook right now. You can just use the hook to loop the top, wraps the yarn over the Sorry, the bottom loops over the yarn, over the top. So this is the scarf that I finished. I haven't taken off the loom yet because I'm going to show you that. But here's some pics or pictures, whatever you like to call them. And it's really long. It's about four feet. But if you want to make it longer, shorter, whatever you want. Now I'm just going to take it off the loom just like you would do a beanie. So as you can see it looks really nice and the stripes look really cool because I use like a multicolored yarn. So that looks really nice. So I'm going to take my like crazy scissors and cut the yarn. You want to have at least a foot. Like, you probably won't use up all that yarn, but just in case. You don't want just a little bit of yarn, because then it will mess up your whole thing. And that's not good. So thread your needle, plastic needle, and you're going to do what you do like a beanie. You're just going to put the thread on the peg, thread on the peg, yeah. And you're going to sew it so, yeah, like, the, the yarn will go through it, and then you're just going to take it off the peg. And you're going to do that for as much times as your loom goes around. You can use the smaller side of the loom, like, you see the bottom part of it that's smaller? You can use that. You just will have a really tiny scarf, so I recommend using... Eight, or you can use one of those bigger looms to make it bigger circular looms to make it bigger or you know really like any way you want if you want a thick scarf or a thin scarf smaller looms for thinner scarves bigger looms for bigger scarves pretty simple then I'm just taking out my needle and thread out of the loom so we're not using the loom anymore and 
just like a hat, you're just gonna tighten it up at the top, and I'm just gonna sew some stitches, like, I just don't want it falling apart, so I recommend you do that, just like I'm doing it right here. And then I messed up here, so I'm just sewing it, so we can't see that part. So I'm just like sewing it and knotting it everywhere. All good. And then I just cut it. And I messed up on the cut, so I have to cut it again. And my scissors are not good, so everything happened. Yeah. You'll see. Because I cut it too long. And my scissors aren't good, so it took a while. So I'm going to fast forward. So it doesn't take an hour. Okay, so now I'm just doing it the other side. I'm just sewing some on the other side with the extra yarn. So I think I'm, I'm sewing the top. And like, as you can see, it has an inside, but I'm just gonna sew that and just tie a knot. I'm actually tying a few knots, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. And I'm just cutting it, and you don't wanna cut it too short or too long. So just have it perfect, you know. I'm tying a lot of knots because I do not want it to get messed up. There you go, and then I just cut it. So now I'm going to teach you how to make a pom-pom. Well, first I'm using the pom-pom makers. It didn't really turn out so good. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it without pom-pom makers. But here's my disaster with pom-pom makers. So as you can see, it got all tangled, and so I'm going to show you how to do it with just a plastic lid. And you just start wrapping the yarn around the lid. It could be any size, and it could be any shape pretty much, as long as you could wrap the yarn around it. The more wraps you put around, the fuller the pom-pom will be. The less wraps, um, the smaller... I mean, the less foil it would be, and the littler the object that you're wrapping the yarn around, the smaller the pom pom, and vice versa. So I just keep wrapping for a long time. Then I just cut the excess yarn and tie tie it together. You just want to leave that yarn on for a little while. So now you can slide it off the lid or the object. You're going to tie another knot. You 
You want to make it really tight. So I'm tying a few knots. And so that's how it should look now. You want to tie it like with the two of them together. And so now you're going to cut the, like there's these, you cut, you tie it in the half and then there's these, these like, I don't know what they're like, balls I guess. And you're going to split the yarn to make it all fringy and it'll just become all poofy and a pom-pom, as you can see. going to trim it to however you want so you want it to be like even so it looks nice to sew on your pom-poms. So take some extra yarn and we're gonna just sew on our pom-poms. Quite simple. So thread your needle as if you were going to sew and tie a knot at the end. So what I'm going to do, I want to tie a knot first so it doesn't come undone, or a few knots actually. Then I'm going to start sewing on my pom-poms. And just keep sewing your pom-poms on. I decided to only use two of my pom-poms, so I just have a few extra pom-poms, and it looks really cute, and I really like it. Overload, so, overload, it's a cute overload, don't you want to take us home? Cute, 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 cute.